A judge sentenced three Sioux Falls men to prison today for their involvement in what law enforcement called a drug robbery gone wrong. All three accepted plea deals with prosecutors in the shooting death of Paul Billion of Sioux Falls. Kel Land News was there as the sentences came down in what the judge calls a senseless crime. Today, nearly two years after the crime, a judge sentenced Sodiman Poli to 50 years in prison. Thomas Tarley received 65 years, and Gabo Yu received 75-year sentence. All three appeared in court together after pleading guilty to manslaughter in the robbery and shooting death of 37-year-old Paul Billion. At the time of the crime, all three were teenagers who went to Billion's apartment to rob him of his marijuana stash. But Billion apparently fought back and was shot. Billion's father, Stephen, discovered his son's body on the kitchen floor four days later. Both of Billion's parents read statements before the sentencing. Stephen called his son a peaceful person and said the violent nature of his death has been difficult for his parents and five siblings. He then looked at the defendants and told them he forgives them. Paul's mother, Catherine, read a statement which said in part, I forgive you with all my heart. You are also the victims of a culture of death we live in right now. Paul Billion was hit in the head with a shovel and shot three times during the robbery. Neighborhood surveillance video and good old-fashioned police work led detectives to the suspects who were arrested one by one. Speaking to the defendants, the judge said people are often remorseful at sentencing. But the time for remorse would have been after Paul Billion was shot and in need of medical care to possibly save his life. During the sentencing hearing, the judge said if one word summed up this case, it is senseless. In the end, three young men are going to prison, and Paul Billion lost his life over a mason jar of weed. The judge suspended 25 years of each of the defendant's sentences, giving them a chance for parole in their later years.